here at the Howe Conference, Mohawk Fine Paper, and we're here in uh, HP's booth here in the space, featuring the Indigo uh, business within Hewlett Packard. And I'm speaking with Yogev Barak. And Yogev, it's good to see you. See you we know one another well, but for the Many camera, years. I'll ask you to uh, just give a sense of what your responsibility is at HP Indigo. So I'm the worldwide marketing manager for, for the Indigo business. So I run all our current products, and a uh, big part of what we're trying to do is also create awareness for everything Indigo can do and Boac have been great partners for us for many years for actually uh, elevating the story of the, of the fine prints that, that Indigo and Boac together can, can create. I'm just looking at some of these samples that are so, so amazing. Well, yeah, and you know, we, we've we been, you know, involved in the graphic design community for decades and, and, and certainly uh, appreciate and understand the design community. And um, when we made a commitment to, to, to uh, digital printing papers and forged a strong relationship with HP, it was books like this <laughs> Monet book on Superfine that I think got everyone's attention um, in Israel and here in the States to say, wow, paper does make a big difference in terms of the general feel and value of a printed book. Um, right? So if you could just give a, give a sense, I mean, you guys are... Um, sort of newer comers to the how comments. Maybe you could give a sense as to how that developed and your interest in the design community as HP Indigo in terms of product awareness. So, so I'll give Chris the credit, the credit for actually pulling it us, pulling us into this uh, community. And, and it took us some time to understand exactly what you know, what is the story that we want to tell this community. Mm -hmm. uh, but but the more we actually emerge, submerge ourselves, and, and the more we actually work and, and market in this community, the understanding is that, that it's, it's, these are people that appreciate quality, right? people that appreciate uh, uh, tactical, the sensing of things, and, and, and the paper and the way ink is being put on paper uh, is so important for them. So, so kind of telling the story of what we can do with digital is, is so important here. And, and many people just don't realize all these beautiful things that can be done, actually done digitally. You guys have done a beautiful job of actually creating all these samples. And it's, it's, it's a real eye-opener for designers when they see what's possible. You know, we just, uh, featuring HP Indigo, brought these, this card set as one of the, the, the feature uh, products we're talking about here at the show. So this card set is actually multiple colors from our studio collection, which has been put up specifically for HP Indigo White Ink. So in the, in the case of a card like this, this paper color, which is mango out of our loop line, I think, it better be mango, um, uh, is actually overprinted using white ink to get this incredibly beautiful effect and maintain you know, the paper color it, it, it is a real feature, which allows you to build a stationary set with matching envelopes and really have a very high value um, on demand potentially short run length product that could also be totally personal. So that's really, that's been an eye opener. And, and maybe you could make a comment about white ink technology. It's fairly new for HP Indigo, right? Yeah, so, so white ink is, is, is actually technology that we had on the Indigos for quite a while, but it was used mostly on, on the label mm -hmm. side uh, with, with the machines that are located towards the packaging. And, and what we have realized actually through uh, people like Mohawk is, is that there's really a demand for, for this capability in the design community you know, putting together beautiful commercial prints and, and so basically we took that technology we worked with our R&D guys to adopt it to, to our sheet fed machines which are used more in the commercial world and, and this is where it came out and then we, we thought you know it's a nice add-on and an option but the, but actually the, the reception for that and, this was huge. People actually love it. Okay. And this, the things you can do here with different samples, this is this is the most beautiful pieces designers can dream. And you, you know what's interesting is sometimes what, what I've got a good reaction uh, uh, from designers with is, is something as simple as just white type. Up to this point, in this case, this is actually something out of our pinhole press business, uh, a calendar cover that is uh, via, um, a via vellum in crimson in a red shade, so it's red paper. And be, to be able to print white type up till this point, you would have had to, you, know, you could have engraved the cover, you could have stamped the cover, and that involves a 
fair bit of expense and setup time. But with an HP Indigo, this is simply kind of, I don't want to call it rip and run, but you can get on press and do, in this case, one calendar using this white ink. And it's really a, a, a super impressive way to let the technology sort of set inside the, the context of the paper. We did, we're very excited. And it, it brings out, you know, this, this beautiful paper and textile of color that, you know, you cannot achieve in any other way. And this is just, you know, you let the paper speak and you just add anything else you want to add to it. And this is simple to do in an indigo. It's yeah. not so complicated yeah. yeah. once you have the white ink. I think the reaction we're getting in the, with the indigo sam samples that we show to designers is uh, delighted surprise. They, they think this is incredibly high-end right now, like they haven't seen before from digital. Digital may have come you know, 10 years ago, if they, they may have had a bad experience with it, but indigo printing, uh, in particular on fine paper, really makes a huge difference, and, and I think you're getting the, the attention of the design community, and it's good, you're going to have great success with it. And, and one of the things, again, I mean, this example, it's probably hard to see on the camera, but you know, you get the texture of, of, of the paper, and you can actually feel it, and the fact it's printed doesn't take anything out of the texture itself. Yeah. This kind of brings together, in my opinion, the most beautiful between you know, paper and, and print. And right. this, is, this is what we're so passionate about. Awesome. Good. Well, good to see you, as always. Take care and thanks. Thank you.